Leo, Leo, what it be, y'all? It is Scorpio Reds Tarot. I'm back at it again with this toe up cup. Sipping on some buckwheat lemon and some, uh, what the fuck am I drinking on? I don't know. I'm drinking on some type of goddamn tea with some lemon and some buckwheat, honey. Get this damn cold up out of my chest, goddamn. Listen, I'm here, my dears. So we can go over the bonus reading for you guys because. You guys were one of the top three. Even though I said I was only going to do two signs. Uh, the sign of Taurus, Leo, and Cancer. Y'all showed up and y'all showed out for the mid-January. So, you know, you guys have got these bonus readings with these amazing um, new decks that I have got. Thanks to all of the love and support from you guys. So, these are new decks that I've got from Mystic Moon. Um, this is the After Tarot deck. This is the vice versa tarot deck, and this is the oracle of the shadow and light uh, right here, okay? So, again, I want to thank you guys ever so much for all your love and support to my channel where I was able. And, number one, you know, I got a camcorder, so as you can see, my cell phone is right here on chill. So, thank you guys so much for all of the... Um, private bookings, the donations, all of the love, light, and support that you guys has, has sent my way to my channel because it's allowed me to put the money back into the channel and um, get everything that I needed to um, make this recording a lot comfortable for me. So um, I greatly appreciate it. I greatly, greatly appreciate it because I've been wanting this camcorder and everything that um, I've been asking God for through the love, light, and support of my followers and the people that love me and support me like collectively together we were able to pull this off and you know that's why I wanted to make sure that I come through give a special thanks to y'all especially for all the love and support and the views and the likes, shares and the follows like I really appreciate you guys Leo I fucking love y'all and y'all know I love y'all y'all represent but y'all already know how I am about my Leo man so y'all not even about to do me okay we y'all not about to do me right now okay but anyway Let's get into the house announcements. So if anyone wants a personal or private reading, go ahead and click that about tab. All right. There's a hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it's Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. If you would like to give a love donation or page offering um, to help the page um, continuously grow, um, there's a hyperlink in the description. And again, thank you so much to everyone who has donated um, in the past, present, and in the future. Um, Big, big shout out and much love and light to you. And I really hope that this readings that I do, it, it does um, give you some type of insight into your situation and, and, and help you to first find self-love to get you to the place of prosperity and um, uh, a wavelength of love where you're attracting in your life what you're putting out. So uh, all praises to that. So let's get into the prayer. Dear Lord, thank you so much for bringing us here. We are here for the sign of Leo, one of my favorites, yes, indeed. Um, Leo always shows up and shows out for me every month. So, and you already know the strength and determination and the willpower that is the backbone of the Leo. They stand alone. They don't need nobody to fight no battles for them or make them make them do get and can't nobody make leo do nothing you know what i'm saying so leo is just what leo is you understand and um please give the sign of leo guidance in this love journey um i feel like leo has definitely been through such a powerful transition and learning a lot of lessons and you know finding the strength to step out and um put their foot out in the streets anew so, please give the sign of Leo guidance in regards to love, um, especially in regards to this twin flame situation. Um, even though y'all know how I feel about that term, twin flame, but you know, it, it is for purpose, so, I, you know, whatever. So, dear Lord, please give the sign of Leo uh, love, light, and guidance in, in the keys to self-worth and self-love so that they can continue to be powerful, be determined, and have that willpower and that strength to go after everything that they want and desire. And I, I pray to God that the world and the universe 
helps Leo manifest and put all of the beautiful paintings on the canvas that they that they heart desires. All right. In the name of Jesus, I thank you so much again for all of the messages in the past, present, and future. Please give the sign of Leo some guidance for the month of February. All right. In regards to love and relationships, thank you so much. All right. So let's get into this. First, this is like I said, an after tarot deck. So we just gonna get into the general energy real quick. Please give me guidance for the sign of Leo. We popping now. We popping off. Hey, hey. We popping off. Hey. We popping off. You got options, Leo. Leo got a few options out here. Come on, Leo. Come on, Leo. Let's go. Leo's a goddamn showstopper. Showstopper. So. Right off the bat, okay, Leo is letting you know, and that wasn't like that, that was like this, so I ain't even about to fuck that up, because all of this was in the upright. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all know I'm still battling this cold. Leo is letting you know, I have a variety of options right now. I have a variety of options right now, and, um... I've made my selection, and clearly you can see that he selected, what did he select right there? He selected, what two cups is empty? See, he selected the, the jewels, but when he selected the jewels, something else attached itself to him. You see what I'm saying? Something else attached itself to him. Something else attached itself to him. And guess what? That is the same belt of this magician. Ain't that the same belt that the magician got up? So listen, let me tell you something. This is basically telling me that Leo has freed has freed him or herself to the point where it has afforded them many vast options. And it took Leo a minute to kind of figure out and delve through each one of these options to figure out what the correct thing to select. Because as you can see, there's a lot of different things in these cups, but not all of these options are good options, okay? And Leo selected the best thing for him. That was the fortune. Leo selected the fortune. But when he selected the fortune, sometimes when you select things other things attach itself to you that you didn't ask for but this thing that attached itself to you wasn't necessarily a bad thing it was a belt of wisdom of wisdom because when you look at um other cards and you see the the people they hold their staffs i think the hierophant and things like that that same snake is wrapped around their staff and that snake represents wisdom do you understand what i'm saying so <coughs> not only did you change your destiny and you selected fortune and abundance for you you also uh inherited the art of manifestation and becoming a magician and learning how to take and mold and shape the world to fit your life and to make it comfortable for you. You've learned about as above, so below. You went through a lot in 2018, which shaped the foundation for who you are right now. You understand that, listen, you see this affinity sign, you know, you see that affinity sign? So that, that is representing that you have to be cognizant and you have to be careful of what you put out into the universe because what you put out, you get right back. And as you can see, he's holding that two-sided candle that represents as above, so below. And he has two of them. He's learned how to wield two of them at the same time. 
No, 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 no. He has one. He has one candle. I'm thinking of a different deck. So, um, and now he's mastered the art of manifestation in his powers towards the way that he's able to elevate and levitate all of these different sources that he holds, you know, that he holds power to. You know, he has all four elements to his disposal to do as he pleases. And he has the mind, sight, and the strength and the knowledge to know that what you get out, you put back. And you do have a responsibility as the magician and as the man, okay? And you have to choose wisely when you're out there in the world selecting from vast lands and making these decisions. Because what you put out, you get back. And be careful what you ask for because you might not get what, what, it, what it is that you thought you was ordering at all times. But this time, this person walked away, you know, got a two-for-one deal. This person got the fortune and this person came out a master. A master. And a controller of his destiny. Do you understand what I'm saying? A master and a controller of his destiny. All right, and oop. and this is the Knight of Pentacles. Right now, new vast opportunities are rushing in towards Leo, and they're like coming faster than you kind of expected. You know what I'm saying? Like the Knight of Pentacles. Um, it. it I mean, it, it honestly is the slowest moving knight. In the debt, however, it's coming a little bit quicker than you think because this is something very solid and very stable and something very committed that is coming to you because you selected the fortune. You selected the right cup. Okay? You selected the right cup. You used that belt that you had inherited and you mastered your craft. Okay? And you wield the worlds of the universe to help you learn how to create a solid foundation for you. And even though it's slow coming, it's coming. Okay? And you've again, look, that infinity sign. You've learned how to control your strength. You've learned how to control your temper. You've learned how to control your urges that were getting you in trouble a lot. You've learned how to control this beast. And I feel like you're in such a place of comfort. Like, you honestly feel so good about yourself that you, like, you love yourself so much right now, Leo. Like, you literally love yourself so much for all that you've accomplished. And it's a beautiful damn thing. It's a beautiful damn thing. It's a beautiful goddamn thing. And I really do feel like this is, I don't know why I always pick up this, this energy of a, of a Leo male. But, um, honey, you are sitting very, very comfortably as the King of Pentacles. You are solidifying your foundation. You are legitimate, legitimately legitimizing yourself as the goddamn King of Pentacles. You want to make sure your money is right. Your home is right. Your home. A sense of stability. A sense of warmth. A sense of ableness. And you've done it. And you've legitimately done it. And I want to, like, seriously. Because, like, Leo has went through a lot. Especially in 2018. Leo went through a lot trying to prove themselves to someone. This Leo man here. Went through a lot trying to prove themselves to somebody. Okay. And I'm going to still say this in, in, in regards to a situation for a woman. You know, you have a lot of vast opportunities now. And you pick the fortune. And right now you are using your powers as the magician to have the universe wheel in a brand new opportunity for you. A knight of pinnacles. Someone who is coming through. <coughs> who is reaching out to give you a solid offer. Do you hear me, ladies? This person is trying to reach you to give you a solid offer. Do you understand? And you finally got to the point where you've got strength and you've overcome the things that you needed to come overcome in your love life to where this um 
by the time this knight gets to you, when he gets to you, he is going to be coming to you being presented as the king. The king. Through his journey, he's the knight. And he's going to gather strength and wisdom along his way. And when he approaches you, oh honey, he comes to you fruitful and abundant. Girl, love. It is your world, love. So let's get into Twin Flame. I honestly don't even want to touch these Twin Flame cards because I don't want them to tell me nothing bad because there's so much blessings going on right here. So we ain't even going, mm-mm. We ain't even going, uh, no, it ain't, ain't about to be no bad energy, but if anything, it's about to be some truth. And, um, we ain't even looking into the past. Father, give us guidance in regards to, um, the present state of love. The present state of love for Leo. Please give us guidance for the present state of love for Leo for uh, February. Lessons. Karmic partner. Bound. The dark night of the soul. Damn. The fuck? The fuck? And stuck. Okay, bitch. Let me tell you something, bitch. Because I done told you last fucking time. I done told you whoever this person is that is, like, really trying to bound and, 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 and like, hold their energy stuck to Leo. Like, please stop it. Because this is, like, borderlining obsession at this point. And this is getting ridiculous. So, listen... What um, spirit wants you to really focus on is the lessons. It's going to be a lot of lessons that you're going to learn in um, February of 2019, Leo, okay? It's going to be a lot of lessons in regards to a karmic partner that you're currently dealing with or that you're trying to get the fuck away from. I really do think it's someone that you're trying to get away from, okay? Someone that you're trying to get away from. This person is trying to bound and trap their energy to you, okay? All right? They are just really in a dark place in regards to this um, breakup, the dark night of the soul. I really do feel like this person is in a very dark, empty place because, you know, you, you don't want to entertain it anymore. And I feel like this person is a very dark, resentful hateful place about this fact and especially because all of this newness is coming like all of this blessings and stuff is coming to you and honestly what I'm getting like I, I don't know why I keep I, I, I get some crazy ass like what was that fucking Taraji P. Henson movie uh ooh, what was that crazy ass movie with that goddamn Taraji P. Henson it was like you know yeah, Leo fucked up. You kicked him out. He begged you back, begged you back. You kept denying him. The whole time you were denying him, he was going through a transition, seeing himself for what he did and the messed up things that he did to create this situation and be the way that it is. And he kept fighting and he kept fighting and he kept fighting and you kept rejecting. Right? But just as soon as Leo woke up and said, you know what? I got options out here. Let me stop trying to force myself in a situation with someone who does not want to be with me. Okay? I'm blessed to have fortunate other things being bestowed in front of me. Let me stop begging to be somewhere where I don't want to, where someone doesn't want me. I don't want to be somewhere where I'm not wanted. Okay? And then. As soon as Leo just decided, you know, listen, I'm not going to beg for your attention no more. I'm not going to beg for you to forgive me no more. Now, all of a sudden, now you in love. Now, all of a sudden, you want you want to work on things. And Leo is like, no, like, are you fucking kidding me? <coughs> no. 
you the one trying to keep yourself stuck in a situation. I done bought myself out of the mud. I will be a fucking fool after I done cleaned myself up and did all of the fucking work that I did to get myself to this point where I'm at up here. This sit and, and, and jump back into the mud pit with you. I refuse to do it. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate all of the, the lessons that you have taught me. I really do. I really, really do. But at the end of the day, like this 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 was toxic. This whole situation was toxic. And I know I created a lot of it, and I know a lot of it, you had a lot to do with it. But at the end of the day, it just don't need to be anymore. It don't need to be anymore. And it doesn't make any sense for someone to sit there and fight to, for someone to come back that you were pushing away. The fuck? Like, that's just so fucking stupid. Anyway, and I don't mean to offend any cross watchers. I'm sorry. But I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Y'all know I'm going to keep it 100. And it's not to offend you at all. But look at what you're doing. If y'all feel comfortable with this, then by all means. You understand? You can catch an attitude with me. You can cuss me out in the comments if you want to. I'm going to cuss you back out and I'm going to block you. No one should be okay with this. If someone is rejecting you, if someone doesn't want to be with you, don't. Get yourself in this. Come on. Like, look at these cards here. Seriously? You're seeping that low? Come on. Come on. Mm -mm. If Leo does not want to be with you anymore, you need to release yourself from this stuck energy so that you can move forward and find happiness. Don't bound and trap yourself to such a situation that is no longer. Okay? Goodness gracious. Anyway. Whew. Spirit, please give me guidance in regards to the... Um, mm, 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 mm. I'm sorry, that energy just made me sick to my stomach. Leo, you might need to get a fucking restraining order against this motherfucker. Like, for real. Please give me guidance in regards to uh, what's going on in the shadows. Like, what are the blockages? Ooh. Repelled and cowardly. Yeah, I mean, this person knows that Leo feels repelled, like, they're repelled by them, like, they, they, they're almost, like, repulsed, like, they're, like, I don't, like, fuck off me, like, you know what I'm saying, like, <coughs> like, it's crazy, it's crazy. Give me additional guidance. Please give me guidance as to what's going on in the shadows. Robotic. Forceful. And power. Yeah, girl, girl, oh my god. Uh-uh, 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 bitch. Let me tell you something. Let me fucking tell you something. And I don't, I don't like it when I, when I'm doing readings and I feel like somebody is really, like, that dark night of the soul shit. And this, and this, and this here. I knew I didn't like that energy for some fucking reason. Like, they're trying to force, use forceful power on you. And they might be doing, like, some type of spell work or something. Do y'all see this card? This person might be trying to do because they feel repelled by Leo. They might be doing some type of forceful, you know, 
power or going to somebody that is like you know that does some type of like dark magic or something like that to like do a spell to repel other people from coming to, you know being able to come to you so that you know you can't find love like if I can't have you nobody can have you type of shit like they might be doing something like that or you know I don't see that they're doing anything where it's though they want you to come back to them because they feel repelled by you and they're angry. They just don't want you to find happiness. You know what I'm saying? They don't want you to find happiness and love. And they're trying to like use black magic. You know what I'm saying? To alter your free will and the free will revolving around your life and the people that's coming in and out of your damn life. And that ain't cool, bitch. That ain't fucking cool. That ain't fucking cool. This person knows that Leo does not want anything the fuck to do with them anymore. Leo has moved on. And they are too cowardly to really deal with, you know, certain things that they need to change. And that they need to just get over in their fucking life. And instead of them doing what they should do to, to, to um, fix their self, they're in this robotic like state you see what i'm saying now they're in the same robotic like state remember how leo kept coming back kept coming back i'm gonna get my girl i'm gonna get my girl i'm gonna get my girl i don't give a fuck what nobody say i don't give a fuck this is that i'm gonna get my girl i'm gonna get my girl i'm gonna get my girl and that's what leo feels like leo feels like this situation is fucking robotic at this point and they do not want nothing to do with it anymore they want the fuck off of this train they want the fuck off of this train because it's robotic and it's fucking toxic. And they want to release their self from being bound to you. Because this is some robotic, stupid ass fucking bullshit. And they feel like you are a karmic partner. You were merely there to teach them lessons. And that's it. That's it. But you, this person that is dealing with Leo, they don't feel like that this was a fucking lesson. They feel like you're mine. And you know what I'm saying? Girl, you have issues. And, it's, and this could be a man, too. This definitely could be a man. <coughs> this definitely could be a man's energy, too. But this person is a fucking coward. This person is too much of a bitch to face their self and get over whatever it is that they need to get the fuck over so that they can move on and find true happiness and work on their shit and get their shit together. They are spending too much time and too much energy focusing on Leo. And or Leo is doing this to them. But I honestly, this is, no, the, the, this person is doing this to Leo. Child, I don't know. Y'all know it. The energies can most definitely be um, vice versa. So, girl to the fucking love. Let's find out if this person could speak to Leo and tell them what's on their mind. What would they say? And this person could speak. What would they say to Leo? Second, my kids is excuse me. All right, so this person could speak. I've looked you up to online to see what you've been up to. Stalking. Stalk fucking. Didn't I tell you? I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. Do you see this shit? Slim thuggery. You better go out here and go get you a, a restraining order. Because Slim is on a fucking head, mo. Hey son, this this motherfucker 
<clears throat> I can't handle your words right now. I've been looking you up online because I'm a fucking coward and I can't handle your words right now. Because you know Leo going to tell you, why the fuck is you on my shit, yeah? Fuck is wrong with you? I'm in a much better headspace right now. Oh, really? Fuck if I could tell. Fuck wrong with you, Slam. Something is still missing for me. I'm still trying to figure out what that is. What what what? What is missing for you, girl? What is missing? Your brain? Girl. Come on, honey. Bunchkins. Honey, bunches of oats. What the fuck? Slimmy on her fucking head, yeah. This bitch is on her Taraji shit. What is what is the what is the movie called? It's it's not abduction. What the fuck is that whole ass uh fucking movie called, son? Oh my dear God, I don't even know, Father. Ooh, mm mm mm. I'm gonna have to do y'all spread a little different. Spirit, please give me some additional guidance, please. Um. Please clarify all of this stuff for me just one time. Just give me some additional guidance before we go into the uh, the Shadows of the Light Oracle book here. But honey, this was, uh, this was a lot for me, baby. Ooh! 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 Come on. Come on, man. This is, this is just too much. I'm dropping my cards. I just... Honey... It's hoping. Did I drop anything? No. Okay. Bitch, I'm sorry. Y'all, y'all just about did me today. This psycho ass bitch that y'all been dealing with, Leo. This psycho bitch. What is going on here? Two of fucking cups. Okay, so this is the king of cups here. Okay, so the, this is the king of cups in this end. The 10. And then, okay. Yeah, so listen to me. Listen me. Listen me. Okay? So, this is the King of Cups. Alright? So, Leo, right now, he's feeling very strong emotionally. Um, he's in a very um, happy place in regards to his life. He feels emotionally strong. And um, I feel that he's very abundant and very loving and he is very much in control of his emotional state right now um he's you know released the burden you know it's a burden that he's been carrying for a while now do you understand what i'm saying and the thing is that he had to realize is as he's walking by him you see that statue over in the corner that's actually a statue of him and it's like, you know, he don't even realize that he's been carrying that burden so long that you've cemented yourself in this state. Like, do you want to be a worker? You want to be a, a grunge worker all your life? Or do you want something more than that? That's all you want to be known for. That's all you want to do. And that's all you want to accomplish all your life is just carrying around this burden all your fucking life. And you nothing more than that. That's not what Leo wanted. That is not what Leo wanted. That's not what Leo signed up for. Okay? Leo wants true love. And that's the fountain of Aphrodite in the background. He wants illumination of true love, true partnership, true soulmate, true commitment, a true honor. You know, someone that appreciates him as much as he appreciates her. And Leo knows that he can be a faithful man. He knows that he can do it. And he knows that there's a woman out there that he'll love so much that his eyes will only see nothing but her. And that's what he wants. And that's why he's just like, you know, <coughs> I don't want to be seen as this for the rest of my life. When I look at myself, I don't want to look in my I don't want to look in the mirror and see the cemented statue. Of me carrying a burden being in a relationship with somebody that I'm not happy with. 
I don't I don't I don't want that to be cemented forever in my life in my history. I refuse it. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please give me some additional guidance on um this lessons, the comic partner girl, shush, the dark night of the soul, the stuck girl, yes, justice, come on. Come on. Don't worry about it. Leo, don't worry about it because I'm about to cook this bitch ass. Because I've already told y'all before. I done fucking told y'all before. I don't like motherfuckers that sit there and be trying to play that hocus pocus um, black magic bullshit. Because you don't want to fuck with nobody that I fuck with like that. I, I am not the one to fuck with like that. So I'm letting y'all know right now. If it's you, if you doing any fucking thing that's going to cause any ill will to Leo or Leo, if you're doing this to somebody or whoever the fuck doing this shit, I'm letting you know whatever you're doing is going to come back down to you, every last person in your family tenfold, ten generations into your future bloodline, bitch. You gonna curse your whole fucking family and I will see to it, bitch. I will make sure every last person down to the newborns in your family suffer for your mistakes and your evil fucking wicked ass heart. Y'all better check yourself with that bullshit because y'all don't know who y'all fucking with. And I done told y'all motherfuckers before in the other videos where I done seen this shit come up. Play with the wrong motherfucker if you want to. You understand? I'm a Scorpio. I'm very much knowledgeable of the darkness and the light. And I don't even fucking play like that. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you don't want me to go there. Y'all want me to stay up on this light. Okay? Don't pull me there. You understand? A lot of people that like to play these little dumbass games and shit until you, re until you meet the right motherfucker that'll simmer your motherfucking ass down. That'll simmer your motherfucking ass down. And I'm going to let you know God don't play with his anointed ones. God do not play with his anointed ones. And if there's somebody that don't want to fucking be with you and they don't want to fucking be with you, leave them the fuck alone. Leave them the fuck alone. If you don't get it, I'll make sure for the rest of your motherfucking life you'll watch your whole fucking family suffer and you'll be sitting there wondering, begging, on porcelain floors, kissing the ground, asking God, doing so many Hail Marys and Our Fathers, trying to figure out how to un-fucking get that shit off of your fucking family so bad, bitch. Don't play with shit that y'all know what the fuck y'all playing with. Because a lot of y'all motherfuckers don't know what the fuck y'all playing with. And y'all think this shit is motherfucking funny. And you don't get the as above, so motherfucking below. What the fuck you put out, you get back. And you gonna open up the door fucking with some people that ain't gonna fucking play with your bitch ass. Now we'll cook your whole fucking shit, bitch. And me, the type of person I am, I ain't gonna fuck with you. I'm gonna fuck with everything that mean anything to you, bitch. I ain't gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch everything around you, bitch. Fuck with me. And I want y'all to know, I am so fucking serious. And I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I don't play with that motherfucking goddamn devilish evil ass goddamn energy. I don't play with that shit. I don't play with that shit at all. I don't like that shit on my page. And if you one of these motherfuckers that's in this energy that's doing this fucking low vibrational shit, get your bitch ass the fuck off my goddamn page. This motherfucker don't love you. There is nothing there. It is done. It is gone with. Do you understand? 
And what the Spirit is trying to tell you, that even though all of the love has been poured out of these cups, that is still the fountain of Aphrodite right there. It's still watching over you. They're still trying to bless you with love. But you are such a fucking place of dark enviousness. Because you're a fucking coward. But it's okay. Because as above, so below. Like I said, there's always someone time enough to cook your motherfucking ass. Justice will be served, bitch. And you don't know type of... <laughs> Y'all don't know the type of covering that God done put over me. I cuss and I pray and I march for him, baby. And he'll give me the green light to cook your ass. You understand me? Justice will be served. Keep on playing around and making your bed, bitch. Like the red witch, bitch. Off with your motherfucking head. Just like goddamn... What's that? Uh, uh, Alice in Wonderland, the Red Queen, off with your motherfucking head, bitch. I love to see heads roll. Because we going to get balance in this motherfucking court round here. Because this shit about to stop. This shit about to stop. Hmm. You have sunk... Whoever this person is that is in this shit, you have sunk to a place that is so far beneath anything that is godly and anything of a decent earthly realm. You have literally turned your back, opened up the apple, and it fed your youthful soul to something that has no structure, has no foundation. This is the hierophant. Do you understand what I'm saying? Something that has no spiritual value. You done bit the apple to something <laughs> and you <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Your best bet is to turn your back and look at vast lands and find somewhere else to go and take your fucking energy and go work on yourself. And stop delaying it. Because that's what you're doing. You're delaying it. You're delaying it with this bullshit. With this bullshit here. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. I swear I don't like this energy. I do not like this motherfucking energy. I do not like this motherfucking energy. Oh, I do not like it. I do not like it. And this fucking light is cooking my little ass up. I'm sorry, y'all. And I did not mean to go off on y'all like that. But I'm trying to tell y'all, like, do y'all see these fucking cards right here, y'all? Do y'all see these fucking cards? Because this person feels repelled. This person doesn't. Because this person feels rejected. They gonna use forceful power? Excuse me? I've been looking you up online to see what you've been doing because I can't handle your words right now. What? Whatever. Mm -mm, we ain't doing all of that. You got the Violet Duchess. It says, stifle, bored, and stuck. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, I'm, like, so angry right now. Like, I'm really, really angry right now. I'm very, very much so angry right now, y'all. I don't even feel like holding up that card. Mm. Let me hurry up and read this so I can get about this energy, y'all. Because this is, like, really pissing me off. Bored, stifled. Ah, yes. She is trying to be good and nice and polite, but it's not working. This lovingly and very passionate aristocrat has her fairy wings 
tucked firmly in, not visible at all, and is sitting stiffly listening to someone give a lecture on manners. She is polite on the surface, but it's easy to see and feel that she is bored, frustrated, and ready to fly away at the first opportunity. She is tired of the stuffiness of the people around her, of being proper, formal, and even ladylike. She finds herself restricted by a world where manners or protocols have become more important than, spontan um, than spontaneity, magic, and freedom, and she longs for that. For now, she will bribe she will bide her time, but you can see the frustration growing beneath her. And frustration is, after all, only your own life's force turned within and longing to be break free of its restraints. Uh, the Violet Duchess speak. In your admirable request for balance, you can actually become too neutral, pretending to be serene, acting polite, not making waves, not speaking your truth. Now that I've arrived showing you exactly how I feel, it's time to discover or rediscover the raw, honest, emotional reaction you had um, you had to a person or to an issue and express it. It's all very well being a lover of harmony and not wanting to be a troublemaker but being lukewarm person in regards to situations that really matter are not doing you any favors bottling up your true um, self in turns to unhealthy relationship aches pains and even illness when I come up go for the passionate and truthful option and rediscover just how strongly you can feel and how much fun you can have the divination message your desire is to be liked please and to be seen as a lady or a gentleman is cheating yourself out of something wonderful that you deserve and experience sometimes there are rules that simply need to be broken Keeping to the spirit of the law sometimes means breaking a letter of the law. That's how things get changed. <laughs> there is a situation at the moment that has revealed itself as unjust, unfair, and absolutely unattractive to you. But you have yet to... Speak up. The most inspiring thing in this situation is that you'll discover how to feel safe and stand up for what you truly believe in. Others will be inspired too. So while it feels like you're taking a risk at first, after a while you'll realize you're starting your small revolution. So this is what I'm I, I, like. Like I told y'all, like I feel like this chick that y'all been dealing with. I feel like this comic person that you're trying to move on from Leo. I mean, like you, you, you're trying to move on. And I feel like this person, she has really tapped into that dark night of the soul. Like she really has. And it's like, she is like ready to amp shit up. Like, you know, like she is ready to, like she's damn near willing like, I feel like even if you get a restraining order, I feel like she'll still, like, break the restraining order type of shit. I feel like this motherfucker has gone, like, bat shit ass crazy, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I need y'all to go and get... Y'all go get restraining orders. Y'all go do whatever the fuck it is that you need to do. At least you have some type of legal documentation. Because fuck that shit. I'm letting you know. No, fuck that shit. Bitch come jumping out a motherfucking goddamn bush on you or something. Brother, I don't even know what the fuck to say. I don't even know what to say, but look at her. She got this little sinister look on her face. Like, she up to no good. Like, she said, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I'm down to break a motherfucking letter of the law. Ain't that what the bitch said? Listen, I got the girl. Leo, I love y'all. I am so sorry that these cards brought out, like, some real dark energy. But at the same time, like, this is not something that we're surprised of. Because, like, this has been coming out in y'all's readings for a while now. You know what I'm saying? Like, as soon as you changed your energy and you started focusing on your self-love and rebuilding. 
yourself like this person just started losing their motherfucking minds that you wasn't on their fucking line anymore and like now it's gone to like a real dark place because this person sees the light this person sees like all this money and all of this shit coming into your life and they just like that's my life that's what you know the acrimony that's the fucking movie acrimony like this bitch well, this man is on some real crazy ass, like, acrimony ass type, you know, Taraji P. Henson ass, crazy ass shit. Like, bitch, I'm on, I can't. So, listen, I love y'all. I'm sorry that this energy came out, but at the end of the day, we need to deal with some truth. And at the end of the day, I think that y'all really needed to see the severity of how sick this person is in their brain. You know what I'm saying? Because this person has just been sitting up online. And I think that what that's what Taraji was doing, wasn't it? Wasn't she just sitting in her house? Just sitting in that house online all day. Looking at what um her ex-husband was doing. Looking at what the new girl is doing. Looking at um their new businesses and their new acquisitions and everything. And just everything. It should have been her. And that's her life. And you can't believe. Like, bruh. I love y'all. Y'all be safe. I'm wishing y'all love, like, and listen to. Y'all protect yourself and anybody that's out there mixing up fuck shit, like I said, as above, so below. And don't ever think that there ain't nobody out there time enough for your motherfucking ass. Because there's a lot of light workers that will cook your motherfucking ass, bitch. Okay? I love y'all. Y'all protect each other. Y'all hold each other up and love and light y'all support each other in the comment section if y'all see anybody in the comment section and if they saying some shit with somebody doing any type of dark wicked shit i need all of us to come to come together and pray for each other and we need to pray over each other because the power of prayer and the power of togetherness it could fight any demon it could fight any low vibrational goddamn energy okay nothing shall prosper over the light nothing with god's anointment over it shall ever put fear in anything that we're doing okay so y'all stay in high vibrations i love y'all love and light if y'all want a personal reading y'all go ahead and click that about tab hit that hyperlink scorpio reds tarot at simply book me if this video resonated if you want to give a love donation y'all go ahead and hit that paypal information description i see y'all in y'all february um readings and hopefully this bitch or this dude don't went somewhere and went and got some goddamn help. Okay, y'all pray for this person because this person needs help. All right, bye.